Okay, in this video, we are going to talk about another problem on spherical coordinate, but this time, this is the conversion problem from Cartesian system to spherical coordinate. Means you have to convert, you have to go from x, y, z to r theta phi. So the definition and meaning of r theta and phi, it is all, it has already been discussed in previous videos, and the link will be provided in the description box. So you can watch from there. So in the previous video, in, uh, in, which is based on the spherical coordinate, we have learned how we have obtained these transformation equations. Means where r is equal to under root x square plus y square plus z square, theta is the angle which is equal to 10 inverse root x square plus y square upon z, and theta can also be represented in terms of cos, cos inverse as well. So cos inverse may Theta in cos inverse is theta is equal to cos inverse z over under root x square plus y square plus z square. So you can either use this expression or this expression will get the same result. Phi is the angle 10 inverse y over x. So these transformation equations are uh, for those system where you have to find out the r theta phi and if, if x, y and z are given. So the problem is the points are given. In Cartesian 3 root 3 2, you have to find out the coordinates in spherical. So let's see how we will going to find it out. So you just have to apply the simple mathematics and you need to know the trigonometric ratios. First we will see what is x, what is y, and what is z. So x is 3, y is root 3, and z is 2. It is given to you. And now you have to find out r theta and phi. So r theta and phi will be find out from this transformation equation. So r is under root x square plus y square plus z square. You just substitute x square is 3 square, y square is root 3 and your z is 2. So when you solve it, you will get nine plus 3 plus 4. This will give you 16. So, we will get root 16. Then your r will be 4. So, this is your first coordinate r equal to 4. So, you space mein pehla apna coordinate mil gaya, r which is equal to 4. So, for theta, I am going to find out with 10 inverse only. You can check the result with cos inverse as well. You will get the same result. So root x square is 3 square plus y square is root 3 square. And your z is 2. So you will get 10 inverse. 3 square is 9 plus root 3 9 divided by 2. So theta will be 10 inverse. It's a simple mathematics, very simple numericals. You just need to know the transformation equations and to how to substitute it. So root 12 is uh, this thing and you will solve this root 12. It is 4 into 3. So 4 will come out from the square root. It will become 2. 2 will 2 goes off will get 10 inverse root 3 all right and we know what is 10 inverse root 3 10 pi by 3 is root 3 right this you know so because this so your theta will be equal to pi by 3. So this is how you are going to obtain theta if you're going to solve it with cos inverse also you can get the same result now you are going to find out phi So for phi, you have to find apply the third transformation equation. Phi equal to 10 inverse y, y over x. So 10 inverse y is root 3 divided by 3. So this will give you 1 upon root 3. Right? So root 3 by 3 is 1 upon root 3. So this will be equal to, it implies that if phi equal to 5 by 6. 
so this is your third coordinate and the final coordinate so you how you will quote your answer coordinates are theta and phi r in the square bracket r is 4 theta is pi by 3 phi is pi by 6 so this will be your final result so in this way you are going to convert the coordinates which are given in cartesian to spherical mm -hmm.